I got no regrets And I remember the day that we met There was no way that I could forget you So I followed you home And I waited till you were alone And I crept Into your room while you slept Hey guys, um <clears throat> Um, I thought it would be interesting to go through the books that I've read this year for my 50 book challenge. I am not going to show you covers because it would take me far too long uh, to make a video like that and I just don't have the energy right now. But I thought to go through my list because I was segregating I guess each genre uh, topic for my challenges and everything like that, like my smaller challenges. So this is what uh, my one of my lists of my 50 books and as you can see it's highlighted and all that sort of jazz to know how I am going with some of my challenges. So I thought that I would just read you the um, list and tell you a little bit, a bit, a little bit about um, some of the books that I liked and some, yeah, so yeah. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is that down the bottom here where my um, what, do you, what would you call those? Legends are. Uh, so here's what I have read. Uh, I have read 18 books of my read 12 by 12 or read one book and read it challenge. I have read 26 YA books. I have read 6 chick lit books and 1 adult fiction which is like erotica, um, things like that. I have read 17 non-fiction books, 9 off-the-shelf books, which are books that I have bought before this year, so I'm not doing too well with the books I've bought last year, etc. Um, I have read 12 library books and 12 urban fantasy slash horror books, or urban fantasy or horror books. So I don't think that's too bad, and that's like comprised of the list of 50. So I will start with number one and read down a list. So here we go. Okay, so I have read It's Not Over Till You're Over It. Oh my god, I haven't even got the authors of these. Okay. Uh, Crescendo, Artichoke's Heart, which I really loved. I love that. That's cute. Um, Once Dead, Twice Shy, never going to pick up one of her books again. I just could not get into it. This book isn't fat, it's fabulous, creative journal writing, the art of heart, the art and heart of reflection, really good book. Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side, I was a little bit um, hesitant to read it, but I really enjoyed it, I really, really did. It takes me back to the start of the year, man, that's so long ago. Devil's Tavern, Invitation, an erotic book. CJ Wright, A Girl's Guide to Writing Chiclet, The Devouring. Cannot wait to read Soul, blah, 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 blah. the second book in the series um, during Halloween month. By the time you read this, loved it. How to Get Ideas, one of the best books I have read non fiction wise. Brilliant. Um, teach Yourself Creative Writing, don't need to really teach myself, but I still like reading writing books. 120 Days of Urban Sodom. I should have really added that to the adult book list. Chakra Therapy, Anna and the French Kiss. Do I really need to say anything about Anna and the French Kiss? I don't think so. Uh, Natural Woman, Changing Habits, Changing Lives. A Night Without Armour, Wicked Lovely. I cannot wait to read more books in the series. I'm glad I own them. Reaching for the Stars, Bird by Bird. Another really great writing book. I would suggest you guys check it out. It's brilliant. Uh, Ink Exchange, didn't like that as much as I did Wicked Lovely. Another Me, Flower Essences, Men I've Loved Before. I'm thinking about checking out um, more of Adele's, uh, but I can't remember her name now, Adele's books. Uh, they're kind of interesting, but I want to see if she's right, her writing style is any different when she has future books or past books. Oh my god. Anyway, um, <laughs> time to write. Voices on the Waves, 
the van Adam legacy misguided angel and bloody valentine keys to the repository guys i love the blue blood series I, I don't even need to say anything about that i cannot wait until the other one comes out though actually it's out right now but i can't get it because i don't want to get it in hardback <sighs> because i just it don't it won't match my books and mm -mm, no the Angel Therapy Handbook, really good if you are into um, metaphysical things like that. She is a brilliant, brilliant person and I love her writing. Love Struck, Little Miss Teacher, Devoted, made me cry. If you guys haven't heard of, I'm going to butcher this because I can't even remember their last name. I think it's Team Hoyt. I'm pretty sure it is. But it was just... Whenever I say I can't do something, I always try and rein myself back to thinking about um, their team because it's amazing, really. It's just one of those stories that really sticks with you. Uh, Frankie Says Relapse, one of my old, old favourites. Uh, Living Oprah, really, really good book if you like Oprah. Uh, Already Home, I really want to go pick that up again from the supermarket. I mean, from the department store i sold it but i actually think i want to have it for my collection so so i can read it again it was a good story but you're not the best but i still want to get the other copy the carry diaries i'm going to read summer in the city uh hopefully next year checkers boyfriends of girlfriends getting it and parrotfish yeah, Parrotfish, some of the really, really good LGBT books. Um, I love Boyfriend and Girlfriend, I love getting it. Parrotfish was a little iffy, it was not what I was expecting, but it was still a decent read. I would definitely read it. Um, yeah. Violence 101, Writing Down the Bones, love that book. Anyone who hasn't read Natalie Goldberg, I would suggest you go pick it up and read it. You do not have to be a writer to understand what she's talking about in a lot of and she's not overly spiritual either but it just makes so much sense it's like it just clicks and then it might not for other people but it's a really really good book uh withering tight i gave it to my sister and she couldn't even read it and she loves louise ranson she's like uh, i got past like 20 pages and i want to throw it in the bin yeah not one of her finest books at all. I think she needs to be recalled and yeah. <laughs> uh, the Seeing Stone cannot wait to read the other two books in the series next year. Shadow Kissed, again, Vampire Academy. And I've said I love this series so much. And I'm hoping that once I start reading thicker books, which I'm trying to train myself to read now, and which is one of my goals next year is to read thicker books i'm thinking of calling it the 400 um page plus challenge which is well, at least 400 pages because i usually read short books and i'm going to read short books too but i want to read thicker books and yeah so that's it and number 50 is a uh, vampire academy the graphic novel yes i count it as a novel because it did take me some time to read and it says novel on it, so if it says novel, I'm adding it to the challenge. I have also read four books, sorry, I was going to sneeze, uh, four books so far, uh, so that makes it 54 books. I am reading a book at the moment, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because I want to keep it as my, my, little, my little secret book, my little secret book that I'm reading, I'm almost finished it. I figured if I don't tell anyone what I'm reading at the moment, I won't be like as stressed to get it out of the way. Um, it's one of the books that I have been stressing about because the size of it is a honker, like a real honker, and I haven't read a book like that big in a long time. But I am actually getting through it really quickly. It usually takes me anywhere to a month to read a book that size. But it's taken me four days, I think, on and off. Not, like, not four 24-hour, you know, what's, what's 24 hours times two? I'm not going to do the math, but, you know, not continuously, but it's taken me four days, and I'm 
at the 400 mark nearly. So I've got about 100 pages to go. So I'm super excited about that. Super excited about, not super excited about finishing it. Well, I kind of am because it's actually really getting heavy right now. Like heavy to hold. But I really liked it and it's probably going to get a 4.5 stars. So by the end of this month, I think I'm going to add it to the books I've read in September, even though it was one of my Halloween books. So I'm really glad to get that out of the way because I really want to read my library books and my Halloween books together. So cool. So sweet ass brews. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's my challenge. That's how many books I've read. That's where I'm at. You can check out any of these books on my blog if you want to read any of the reviews. They're all there. Just um, look them up, I guess. And yeah, you can find out anything about those books on Goodreads. Except, I believe, it's not over till you're over it. It's a, that book I cannot find on Goodreads. So, I can't really add it to my challenge yet. I'm a little bit sick still, so. Yeah. So sweet. Sweet like mints and cheese, bro.